of Lima. All the way to the capital. <laughs> 19 people who have travelled a long way to come here to, to take a message of protest against an Australian company which is trying to operate a toxic uh, rare earth refinery in their hometown. We have to live next to the world largest rare earth plant which was built without our consent, without consulting the local residents and the amount of toxic waste they turn out in one year in terms of figures, it would be too difficult to imagine. If I give you a vivid description, it is equivalent to a football, football field. You will pile up the waste produced in a single year on a football field, it will rise up to four storeys. There's mountain high of radioactive waste. And today, right now, there are hundreds of people from the town of Kuantan, where we stay in, marching by on foot walking towards the Parliament of Malaysia in Kuala Lumpur, a distance of about 325 kilometers right now, in protest of this plan. Okay? Now, we came here using our own money. We fork out our money from our own pocket. Uh, why do these people bother to spend so much money to come over here? Because we want to let you know that we really object to this project here. And we will see to it that this project uh, will not get to operate. We will fight until the end, until this project is scraped completely. So when it was first announced to the community that we have a world largest rare earth plant sitting right in our neighbourhood, we started to protest. So we went to the parliament to let the government know that the people do not want the plant. And uh, we sent a memo to the Prime Minister, who until this day, had not replied at all. And then we protested in front of the Australian Embassy in Kuala Lumpur. And all we got is uh, the message has been communicated to the Australian government. And we met your former PM, uh, what is the guy there? Calvin Rudd. And he said, Australian corporate citizens should not practice double standards, should not do things that are not allowed in Australia and doing it in other countries. Right now we're going to lead a sunflower cer ceremony of planting. Some of you might be wondering why are we planting sunflowers? Well, sunflowers are actually amazing healing plants and they can actually uh, soak up the toxicity from the soil and from the water. And they were used in the Chernobyl disaster and more recently in the Fuku Fukushima disaster. So today we're planting sunflowers symbolically to raise awareness about the Stop Linus campaign. And as they grow over the next few weeks, we want to keep this message alive. So hopefully then people are going to come past in six weeks' time and see all of these amazing sunflowers growing in the centre and we can um, direct them to the Stop Linus Org website and hopefully get more Australians on board because we do care and we do definitely want to make a difference. So I'd like to invite the Malaysian delegation to come and each plant a sunflower and also um, everybody outside to join in and show your support. Nadie deje transcurrir esta ocasión de aprender, porque aprender a leer es aprender a vivir, que no se quede nadie sin aprender.
el patriota siempre me la cumple y su deber si no lo cumple con el 